man acquiring wisdom through trials and tribulations, Jose Vizcarra. Hello, those masters. How are you today? I'm so happy to be here present. Uh, being a Toastmaster is a fantastic experience. You listen to beautiful poetry, you know, uh, tale, tall tales, jokes, and things like that. First of all, let me say, this past Thanksgiving, I purchased a beautiful, expensive glass of red wine for the meal. And I put it away, thinking that it was going to be safe. But the freaking turkey got a hold of that bottle and drank it all. And I was so upset. That freaking <laughs> bird drank my wine. What am I going to do? And then my wife said, don't be stupid, Jose. When you eat the turkey, you're going to enjoy your fine bottle of wine. I say, oh my God, no wonder we need a good wife to set us straight, right? So turning now, for the next holiday, which is coming up. And now we're gonna celebrate Christmas. I'm a recruiter, so I have one track mind. People, a lot of fools <laughs> that follow me. So each one has certain abilities, right? So that's what you want in a team. Yeah. Now, let's talk about wisdom. As you know, when you're young and foolish, you're learning about money, right? And kids like to spend money left and right because if they have a piggy bank, they don't want to touch that thing, right? <laughs> they like holy bird grail. They don't want to touch, they want to buy a toy, they ask daddy or mommy, but they don't touch their money, right? I remember when I was little, my uncle gave me one dollar and he said, make sure you get more than a dollar work for your dollar. So I went so happy and little Johnny saw me. Hey, Jose, what have you? Oh, I have a dollar. And little Johnny said, listen, Jose, I'm gonna give you two quarters for that dollar because two is more than one. And I was thinking, oh my God, I'm making more. You got it. So he, I traded my dollar for the two quarters, right? And I was jumping up and down because I have more than my uncle gave me. And then little Susie came around why are you so happy? He was like, well, you know, guess what? I have a dollar, a little Johnny, I met him. And now I have more than him. He gave me two quarters. A little Caesar, Jose, you want more? I'll give you three dimes for your two quarters. Really? You know, three is more than one, right? And I was thinking of my, yeah, I get more. Okay, ah, I'm so happy. So I took my three quarters and I was so happy. Oh my God, I'm making more. I had one, now I had three. Oh my, my, I'm winning. And then little Tommy saw me. What's going on, Jose? Well, you know, I got one and then I got two, now I got three. I'm so happy. Would you like to have four, Jose? Oh yes, because four is more than three. You're right. So I'm gonna give you four nickels for your three dimes. Really? Oh my God, now I'm winning. So I gave him my four quarters, he gave me the, the four, I gave him three times, gave me the four nickels, and I was jumping up and away. And then when I see little Julie, I say, hey, why are you so happy? Because I got more and more. I'm getting more every day. What you got? Oh, well, I have four nickels. And this, you want more? I say, yeah. I give you five pennies for you. Really? Oh my God. I was so happy. It's like, really celebrate. And then I went running to my uncle and say, uncle, uncle, guess what? I got a lot more than you gave me. And when he saw what I did, he was so red. I said, wow, he's so happy. He's full of emotion. Look at that guy. And that's my end of my story. Now, why am I so happy? Because I love to teach. And I used to have some parents, you know what I mean? And let's talk about parents. And I used to have titles for those parents. Do you know what is a Tarzan parent? A Tarzan parent, they're always hanging around. You wish they leave around, but they hang around and hang around and they don't leave. Oh my God, please let me teach, right? And then I have the submarine parents. What is a submarine parent, you may ask? Well, those that start at the bottom and eventually they go down really well. So I say, oh my God, please. But then we got the cougar and parents. You know what is a cougar, right? Is a 
South Africa gold coin that is worth a lot of money. So when you have a cougar and pan, you wish you had two of them because they're so helpful. They're always supporting you, helping you, and the kids are so well behaved. So that's what is so important. So to complete this assignment, I realized through all my wisdom, I'm working on my third or last marriage. Finally, I, I, I decided to pick a good one. I realized that when God created man, he said, oh my God, what did I do? So he fixed the problem right away. And then he looked at the woman and said, woman, what would you like? And one said, oh, I like wine, love. I like warm. I like multitask. And the lady was explaining, he said, you got it. And then he forgot about the man. And look at him and said, oh, I'm sorry, man. I forgot to ask you, what would you like? And the only thing that I left for you is ego. And the men say, that's all I need. How big do you want it? And the men say, super size it, Lord. And say, you got it full, boom. Thank you very much, Toastmasters. Fellow Toastmasters, it was a pleasure being here. Thank you. <laughs>